Good night, my name is Neil Batiste Sobriki Abbeville, son of one Kenneth Selwyn Batiste, better known as Kenneth X. I got to know Norman Andrews, better known as Sonny Ken, somewhere in 1956 when my, brother, my father brought me to live in San Fernando. Um, he was one of the founding members of Southern Outsiders. And at one point in time, while they were taking part in the music festival, he was the conductor dressed in a scissor steel jacket with gloves. As a little fellow, these things are indelibly etched in your memory. But as I said, it's a friendship I inherited from my father, with people like Theodore Stevens, Newland Teeth, Clarence Spots, Pompey, Jokolo, a whole squad. And that time they used to um, practice in Rosal Street where they built the center after. Then they had to move and go up to Lilto Street before they reached up Drayton Street by Tante Mary. All that time, um, Norman Andrews or Sonny Kent, as they would say, was an integral part of bringing military mass in the band. He was a section leader also when Mr. Berwick, who we know as Drago, they were section leaders in the band for years. Kenneth Bowie. Strictly military mass of duty sailor. And they used to come and practice during the week when you have men working who acting as Marines and they come and practice the crawl on the belly for when they're going across the stage. As a little fellow I witnessed all that. Also, he was a very good sportsman. Football, cricket, table tennis, and an avid swimmer and dancer. Ballroom dancing was his forte with that height, you know, the dressing. Height adds to his sartorial elegance, and he was very good at that. Also, you know, the part with the favorite Trinidadian game, Wapi, Puka, etc. These were ways that the parents used to enhance their income. Whether it's Sambad Wapi or Casa Wapi, Poka, Bihi, Sip Sam, whatever. Because those were the days when the, the community played a big part in the steel band coming forward. Because from the time you start having um, wash tubs and it have no bung, they go on with it. But when they get one of that bung, they get back a wash tub. Because people would um, report to the police and come and watch the tub and get make it out because they done heat sink groove and everything on that. So I um, may so rest in peace his contribution to Southern All Stars. Quite invaluable. Cannot be measured in words. As I said again, it was a friendship I heard from my father. And they were the young fellows who broke away from free French metronome to create. Southern All Stars. Also, the first steel band to win a music festival, a steel band music festival in China today. With that, most I can say is may soul rest in peace and the memory of this tall man conducting um, Southern All Stars in a steel band music festival with a scissor steel coat and white gloves. In the LBH, then may soul rest in peace. Boom. Well, I noticed you didn't bring your guitar. Is there any chance of you giving us a little extempo a cappella? I mean, I'll go for the guitar. You want to go for it? Yeah, I'll go it. it. Right on the street. Okay. So, my name is uh, Andrew Habib. Um, known to my dad as Desmond Andrews. My father was instrumental in me learning the band instrumental in me learning to swim. Um, he didn't teach me himself, he sent me to Notre Dame Sea Scouts to learn to swim, um, to also learn some discipline and those other things that you can get. My earliest memories of my father is standing on Spanish Street Junction where Nina Massey was at that time, looking for Southern All Stars coming down the road because I know his band would be with them played a lot of sailor mass and traditional types of mass and 
me standing waiting for him was the highlight of my day because he always allowed the band to stop at that juncture um, simply so I can walk through the band and see the costumes and be part of whatever little celebration they're having there before they enter the end to the Skinner Spa where they would um, proceed to judging. Um, other memories I had is right here in this, in this very yard um, coming after school um, just before carnival time and listening and observing and seeing all the things that they would be doing in preparation for the panorama season. I remember one San Fernando festival um, for carnival, San Fernando had their own Dimash Gra and I was so happy that I was able to push the pan with him, you know, but he kept cautioning me, you know, young man, young man, take your time, take your time. But my excitement was, was too much. Uh, at the end of the evening, I, I ended up with some bruises, you know. But that's all part of pushing pan, I guess. You know? My father was a very generous person. Um, he was full of love and full of life. I don't think I, I've ever met anyone who ill spoken um, or had any negative things to say about him. And for the past couple of days, the memories that people have been sharing with me about my father, it's good to know. 95 years is a lot, and I only knew him for a short period of time and I'm now getting to know other aspects of him. So he will be missed. Um, he is an icon of San Fernando. Like it or not, a lot of people may not want to recognize that, but he kept the traditional sailor mass uh, alive in San Fernando. And he will be missed by a lot. And we will try to keep his legacy going. Um, Southern All Stars is now Antillian All Stars and they're going strong still. And we will be here to support them as we go along. Do you recall that there was a rumor going around that he had passed away? And I went to Marabella and I found him, found him there and I actually did an interview with him and he, all, he also came off the bed, he was there and he was actually dancing like a sailor. Yes, yes. Hey, you remember that? Yes, so that, that, that's so strange yeah, because I was in a, a bank in San Fernando and somebody came up to me, I hear your father died, I was like, what the, that's news to me. So frankly, I was looking to, to, to find my brother, Nicholas, who took care of dad um, in the later stages of his life. Um, to find out what's going on, how come dad died and he didn't tell me anything and he, he just started laughing. He said, boy, dad is here. But by the time I reached there, Clifton had already um, did his interview. My father taught me to do the sailor mask, not uh, sailor dance. Not that I can do it at this time. I may not remember the moves, but playing it with him on Carnival Tuesday. You know, we dance a little, uh, little jig now and then. But yes, he, he portrayed the sailor mask the traditional way. And to me, you know, you don't see much of that. You see the sailor mass on, on a carnival Tuesday, but you don't see the actual dancing. You may have older persons, um, senior members of the band over the 60 year mark doing it, but you're not seeing the younger people. And that is something we need to get back into, so that when we go on the stage and we portray our sailor mass, we portray the sailor mass in the traditional way and do the fire dance as they used to do it. And you hold your stick and you do a little jig. You know, so that is something I would like like to see. And incidentally, Antillian All Stars this year is bringing out a sailor band, and I do hope that Mr. Lewis and the rest of the team teaches and choreograph the, the guys in them to ensure that 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 they do the sailor dance as they cross the stage at every point. Yep. Thank you. Dedicated to the memory of Norman Andrews. From another one of my father's recently departed friends. You seem to feel that life is over because we throw a few pennies down the gutter. We seem to feel everything is lost. So we fight and to get back something at any cost. But while we're searching, and be searching to get back that a little something we'll be forgetting we know nothing of this world in which we live in someone greater put this world together we must remember times are plenty we must be grateful times of sorrow we must be strong 
Cora, be Cora. Kind of joy, we must be thankful. Life really has its ups and its downs. And the disaster, we must be ready. To get together and move verses on how to wait. Tomorrow will be a brighter day. Meet the world today. Wait for seasons. Who are we to question? Just what's the reason? What goes around so must come back round so. And why that is so, nobody knows. There are so many. Other mysteries that no one could accept Just have to give thanks Look to the future of this world It's not ours to control But to the people Times of plenty we must be for people Times of sorrow we must be strong and the joy we must be thankful Life really has its ups and its downs And the disaster we must be ready To get together and move races and how to wait And if you listen to the watch words of your mother Like we have it Tomorrow will be a brighter day we go through this life we live in. You should know by now this world owes you nothing. So live your life and enjoy it. And try to leave the world better than your father. The creator of this world with no one sign, no contract, is that no paper? Yesterday is going to come back to play it Tomorrow is then After all is said Time to plenty we must be beautiful Time to sorrow we must be strong Time to joy we must be thankful Life only has its ups and its The disaster we must be ready to get together and embrace us on how to wait. And if you listen to the watch words on your doctor, like a shadow, tomorrow will be a brighter day for you and 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 you. So that's on the bottom.
Cozia Collins, Dion Baker, yeah, you have real viewers. Some school children into the pan yard to start to learn the pan. And one of the things that you always told me as a child was that one of the ways that we can have productive youths in our own, um, communities is by bringing them into the panyard, not keeping them out. Times gone by, children was not allowed in the panyard, and you know it's a privilege to have children in this panyard at this time. And I just want to congratulate you all for learning our national instrument. I want you all to keep doing it. Um, my father would be proud to see what's, what's happening here, you young people being here. I want to thank you for allowing us to just have this short uh, week here in a place that he loves so much and I appreciate it and I wish you the best and continue your good work in the pan, become productive members of our society, show the government and the opposition that we have true leaders coming up and we will take this country where it needs to be. Thank you.
Captain Bigot, Chairman of South Central. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause. Identify yourself first, please, sir. <laughs> okay, I'm Philip Baker, Chairman of Pancho Bingo, South Central Region. And I'm just happy to be here, being a close friend of Sonny Ken, because I was a member of this steel band many years ago. Actually, at, when I was going to school at Perdijan College, I used to play here. And uh, the idea of what his son just said, it's an honor to see such beautiful young children taking up the national instrument and being part of their life. You can have a future in Pan, and Mr. Kent will be happy to know that his legacy lives on in the world. Thank you. All right, we now have a word with the president of Antillian Horses, <laughs> Mr. William. Please come forward, sir. Please come forward. President. Good Lord, President Jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, good day. My name is Nurse. I'm with Antilla and All Stars. I want to thank each and every one of you for continuing coming to play with us. That jacket you see in there, strange enough, Sonny Kent. I pass in my Sonny. He said, It's only a long time I see you. I said, I'll come passing through the look for you, Sonny. He said, I want to give you something. Well, you know this old lady like money. <laughs> so I tell him myself, son, you can't have a bag of money put on there. He said, no, soldier. This is what I'm going to give you. This jacket, and I want you to continue bringing mass. Ladies and gentlemen, until then, also, I've not brought a um, sailor for a very long time. And we're coming back all this year. Right? This is the jacket that Sonny Kent handed to me. Right? And... I brought it over from Sony to bring Celia in Antilia Norsex. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. We have some food inside, you're welcome. We have some drinks inside, you're welcome to have yourself. No alcohol, please. The soft drinks are yours. Thank you. Thank you.